Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing today? How is everyone doing? Everyone doing good? Rocket Stone, Rocket Stone as well. Yes, yes. Hello, hello. Rocket Stone to the bone, indeed, indeed. Glad to see everybody coming out. Glad to see you guys coming in to enjoy in the stream. Howdy, howdy, ho, everybody. Just give me one second here to make sure I got everything set up properly. How I'm doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I hope everybody else is doing very good as well. <clears throat> Load it up and get everything situated. That way we can dive into the mines. <laughs> oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. That's good. Let me do this. And then we do a little bit of this. If you don't walk in stone, there we go. Now we're good. Oh, I gotta go to my... I gotta go to my main save. Which should be the exact same. I want to go with my modded save. In the Doom Guy costume, that's cool. I'm gonna rip and tear some dreadnoughts, bro. That would actually be sweet if you could pull that off. <clears throat> All right. That lithium ain't gonna mine itself. That's true. That is true. And I'm still, I'm still a day early for my reset stuff, but that's okay. <clears throat> did I get all the uh, elite deep dive stuff out of the way? I think I did, right? Yes, I got all three of them done. That's or I got both of them done. The public lobby, it is as soon as I load up the actually you guys might still be able to find me because I have my thing opened up, but I haven't actually selected a mission yet. But yes, it is indeed a public lobby if anybody would like to join. Uh I don't exactly know how to like make it open open if I'm not in a mission. I'm pretty sure I have to be in a mission, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set us up for a mission. It's going to queue us up for a mission and whoever gets in, gets in. So three, two, one. Boom. Now you should find it. Oh, little black spike right there. Imagine DRG collaborating with Doom Eternal. Oof. That would, that would be the crossover that I think everybody wants, but nobody knows that we want it yet until we actually get it. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, excellent. All right, since I don't have anything I need to do right now, we're going to help out whoever's in the lobby. Since I have nothing I need to do right now, I'm just kind of here. So how is everybody today? Anybody got anything interesting going on? We got one more open slot. Anybody who wants to join in, uh, you are more than welcome to. What do I have that is? Oh, got the quick fire. Okay. I, I don't even have any money. I forgot. I was getting a bunch of uh, my overclocks and stuff taken care of. Dark Morkite. Well, this isn't going to really help us because we're doing doing an elimination, but that's okay. We'll be all right. Oh, actually, if you guys, uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally flat broke. Somebody wants to order a randomizer. I would actually be down for that. Scrumpy. I, I am flat broke on money, unfortunately. Hey, my man. Slayer Stout exists, so it is canon. That's true. I don't know if that's necessarily who they're referencing, but... Come on. Come on. You got to do it. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you look lovely. Okay. Do you actually look pretty good? How do I look? Oh my goodness. I absolutely love myself. This is great. All right, let's get her. Let's let's get her moving. Wait. Okay. Come on, you lazy 
I know I have the stubby, but I don't know what else I have, so this isn't going to be interesting. This is going to be fun to see how this works. You're going to try to get yourself pushed out? Oh, nope! You're still here. The pretty sound of teamwork. I'm on my way home, sweet home. No copyright, so I'm going to stop right there. Even worse. All right. And they gave me the grenade launcher. So what do I have? Uh, EM refire booster, clean sweeps, SSGs, twin, refill turrets. Ah. Okay. I mean, it. It's it couldn't it could be better it could be worse I mean they will be all right I need all the gold that we can gather because your boy's broke rock and stone indeed hey oh. That's a spitball infector. Oh! There's a NATO site breeder. What? What was that a? Beautiful. Oh. Did it give me fire on my grenade launcher? I think it did. Oh. Vroom, 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 vroom. That's right, I have two sentries. I keep forgetting. I'm so used to only having one that I'm not used to having the double sentry. Uh, oh, are we going... We're going, like, the complete wrong direction unless this loops back around. Which it might... Gold! Gold! I need gold! I need all the gold. Just every, every bit of gold that we can get I need. And crafting resources and everything. I'm basically a noob at this game. Excuse you. I think I have. Do I have thorns? I think I have thorns. I have thorns, strong arm. No, I actually have a pretty decent perk setup, at least. Legally speaking, rocking is more legal than stoning. You're not wrong. You're not wrong in any stretch of the in any stretch of the word. You're not wrong. The children yearn for the mines. The children of the mines, if you will. That's a meteor. Big meteor or smalls? I think it's a big. Let me hear it. Yep, there it is. So this whole thing was just one big loop, which was kind of pointless. Where is it dropping? Oh, did it land on the... Oh, that's not good. And there's a tritolite deposit. Okay, so many things just happen. Ah! <sighs> Lacerator, hey, buddy. Oh, boy. Yeah, can we uh, hold off on the tritolite deposit until after we deal with the two dudes that just spawned? Give me a second here. 
Training is the worst machine event. The worst machine event? Um, it depends on what you mean by worst. If by worst you mean least fun, um, if by if by worst you mean least fun, uh, I think I would probably have to say first sight, only because it's very boring. There's not it's not like super it's not like super fun. You just kind of like. You just kind of kill things as they spawn and then collect it. It's not really super innovative. The Ebonite mutation, you have to be very, you have to be a little bit strategic with how you fight. Uh, the Tritolite is, oh, I just got one shot. Wow. Okay. Wow. I literally just got, <laughs> literally just got one shot. Um. Wow. Okay. Okay. He hurts. Okay. We need to get rid of that Arbalist, like, fast. He hurts badly. Wow, I did not think he hurt that much. Uh, in terms of which one is, like, the worst, in terms of it being the most difficult, probably the Omen Machine. Only because, like, depending on how, on uh, the modules you get, it can be, it can be really, really annoying. If you get the drone replicator, it, it can be a lot. It's it's a way worse. Um, this is wicked. No 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 no. The fact that he can just snipe like that is crazy. I thought I had freeze nades. Well, that that's fair. I think we need to focus the Arbalist, because that dude can just destroy us. Hey, no machine events, the breach cutter platform. Oh, come on, man, really? Uh, yes, I meant by least fun. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yee, I mean, the Omen machine can be cheesed a little bit. Now, once you know about the breach cutter platform trick, it becomes a lot easier. Um... What mic do I use? Uh, right now I'm just using a Blue Yeti. So yes, I know. Very basic, very plain. Uh, not very good. But uh, I, I do plan on upgrading at some point in time in the future. It's just... Plasma Bursters on Omen? Yeah, that's true. Plasma Bursters on Omen are really good. This is rough. Why is... Man, whose bright idea was it to use the randomizer? Oh, whose bright idea was this? Sounds fine. Well, I, as I have a sh crap ton of post processing, but I do eventually want to upgrade to a better mic. It sounds better in the videos because I, I I've been doing a lot more uh, audio editing to make it sound better. But for live streaming, it's just very difficult. Can I get some ammo? Can I please get some ammo? Man, I'm, I'm not having a resupplier. Really hurts. Just join the stream. What hazard are you on? Right now, we're on hazard level four. But we're also doing randomizer, so I am using a very, very scuffed loadout that is uh, working, kind of. Come on, take out the Arbalest. Okay, one down, and now... Where's he? Take him down! Here you go. He's coming back up. Nope. Okay. Yeah, order a resupply. Let's uh, we'll do the tritolite and because that's that that won't take too long, and then we'll do the meteor. So. Crack the tritolite to pulsate. Let me throw out my other sentry gun. Oh, hold on. What do you need? Oh, proper. Sorry. 
That last uh, that last wave of enemies just kind of it almost sent me stupid. Get the truth. Get the nanite bombs. Oh. And yep. Oh wait, I have strong arm. Oh, this makes it so easy. Boom. Now, I don't think I have any cores, but... Actually, I might. I do. I have one. Perfect. All right. We're going to go... Obviously, we're going to go with the engineer matrix. With the engineer overclock core. I already need more ammo. I'm sorry, guys. I am burning through it so fast. All right. Where did that meteor drop? Oh, over here. Genius. DRG is collabing with the last game you played. What the unholy thing you created? DRG can't collab with itself, so... Um, if it's the last game that I played, as in, like, the... the hmm, because I haven't played anything today. What did I play last night before I got off? Hmm. I think I was playing Destiny 2, which would be a very interesting collaboration, all things considered. <laughs> It'd be a very interesting collaboration. Did you just get... Yeah. Yeah, you did. Don't worry, I won't say anything. I know you're not trying to get me. Yeah, how would that collaboration even work? I guess they had, like, armor sets that make you look like the Destiny characters, which that would actually be pretty cool. I would like that a lot. Oh, wow, you guys are quick with this. Okay. All right, where is... All right, I'll watch this one down here. And if that won't work, then the game before that would be Dead by Daylight, which I think would be an even weirder combination or a weirder crossover. I'm not saying it could work, it would just be very weird. If you have an inherently fun co-op based game versus a purely only PvP based game that is all about strategy. So that would be uh, quite... Actually, no, I could see it. They could make skins for certain for certain members of, of, of the Dead by Daylight cast that make them look kind of like the dwarves in a weird way. And then somebody would just, one of the killers would just have a skin that makes them look like a dreadnought or something. Ooh, the Xenomorph! That would make sense, actually. The RG collabing with Just Cause 3. That is, that's a crossover that needs to happen. The world needs that sometime soon. Speaking of uh, games and collaborations and releases and whatnot, thank you. Um, I know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, at the very least, June is going to be a jam-packed month full of a lot of things coming out, whether they be expansions or games or just other stuff in general. Uh, so I got a lot on my plate for that. What about you guys? Do you guys have any, any, is there any months coming up or any things that you're super duper looking forward to? Because I know in June we have Season 5 for Deep Rock coming out, which that's going to be fantastic. We also have the Elden Ring DLC, which I'm very much looking forward to that. We have the Destiny 2 expansions, which I'm personally going to be playing that a lot. Uh, Final Fantasy is coming out with their next expansion, which, although I haven't played that in a while, I am interested. The new DRG update? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Ow. I feel like June is a very, uh, 
Wait, season five has a not a direct release date, but it, it we know it's sometime in June. I don't know if it's like mid or late June, but it's it's it, it is sometime in June. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, one, two. Uh, is there anything else around? Season five is going to be awesome. It does. I I do have some high hopes for it. The things that I've been seeing for it are uh, making me. You know, very excited and happy to see that uh, some really cool stuff is coming out from it. So, a release month, yeah, basically. Uh, they're, they they said they're going to be giving us some more details later on this month about the specifics of Season 5, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with that. Um, so we'll probably get a official release date, maybe, or just some other stuff that the devs want to put out. So, imagine DRG collaborating with Titanfall 2 would be for the... Yo, that's, it, it, I think that's just Helldivers at that point. Uh, where's the other... Oh, it's right over here. Uh, we can fight him in this room. You guys want this big open room. So if you guys want to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just bring him to this big open room. And we'll fight them here. New mission type? Yes, absolutely. What mods do I use? Uh, I use a couple... When I'm, when I'm playing, like, normally, not, like, super duper modded. Uh, I just have a couple of quality of life mods. I have a... I have one that, if you look on the bottom, it tells me all the resources and kills and revives and downs I've gotten, which is very nice. I have an ammo percentage, which actually tells me exactly how much total ammo I have, which is really nice to know for resupply purposes. Um, I have health and shields numbers, which are very nice. And then just a couple of other things. I have one that makes it so that way the secondary objective re- Whoa. That the secondary objective resources, like, glow- they have like they they glow very very bright so it's easy for me to see them um just helps me find the side objectives a lot quicker and a couple of other things and then i have ones that i use to like help with that i have discovered recently that help out with recording like the sandbox utility zone uh i have like a couple of bigger ones but i tend to use those i haven't used those a whole lot because <sighs> okay i need ammo i need uh he wants me do you want? Yes, he does. Yes, he wants me. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come <sighs> on. There's nothing I could have done there. That guy wants me dead. Thank you. Oh, wait, I have, I have shield booster. That's right. Shield! I forgot I have shield booster. What do you think the guns that the dwarves are going to get in DRG Rook? I have no idea. I know we're getting, like, there's got there's definitely going to be at least some new stuff because there's at least that new starter pistol that we're getting. Um, in terms of, like, new weapons, I genuinely have no idea. Uh, I imagine we're going to be getting a lot of returning weapons from normal DRG. That's, I think, is just to be expected. Uh, in terms of new stuff, uh, he's on me. He wants me again. Uh, I can't really get you right now, buddy. Oh, now I can. No, I can't. Somebody get him! Yes, actually, I would not be. I would not be opposed to this. What has is this? This is four hazard level four. But I'm also doing a randomizer, so my build is like kind of scuffed. Man, we are struggling with this. Really goes to show how useful. Uh, oh, really goes to show you how how far like actual put together builds can go. All right, I got you. Hold up. Don't come to me. Do not come to me. Randall Weiser was not wise to do. Yeah, but it was also fun. Engineer is at least getting a BFG like railgun. That would be awesome if that was the case. If that is something we're getting, that'd be awesome. 
I don't know why I just bonked. Oh yeah, I also have a bonk sound effect for the heavy pickaxe slam. Another mod I have installed. I'm looping. Oh. I'm looping them. Oh, not me. Not me. I can't see because of the neurotoxin everywhere. Ooh, okay, he's on me. Oh! Everything hurts. Kill it! Oh! Oh! Do we have enough for another... No, we don't. Okay, well, let's just, yeah, let's just get out of here, shall we? Which missions are your, which mission is my least favorite? I wouldn't necessarily even say I have a least favorite mission. I do genuinely like going through all of them. I guess, I guess escorts only because no matter how well you do, it's gonna take a long time to get through them. It's, I like the basis of escort missions. I do like the way that they... Uh, I like the like the, the whole objective that you go through them. I just don't like how you're essentially forced to go at the game's pace. You have a PlayStation console? I have some game suggestions. I do not have a PlayStation. No, I have an Xbox, but I do not have a PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 2 growing up for a long time. And my brother had a PS3, but I never really... Uh, I, had a, I had a PlayStation 4 for a little while. I got it from a buddy of mine, but I got rid of it because I didn't really play it enough. Not only that, but a lot of PlayStation exclusives seem to be coming to uh, uh, cross-platform PC play a lot more now. With the exception of Bloodborne, which is still criminal. But I know that there's like licensing and yada yada that involves that. But I have played a lot of uh, former PlayStation exclusives. I played God of War. Um, and I love that and I can't wait for the sequel to come out on PC. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot about it. I've been trying to avoid. Um... I do, I do, I do got to give PlayStation credit for their, for their exclusives because they're all very, very good. And I got a group, it's weird. I grew up kind of on PlayStation when I started playing, when I started playing games. But then I just kind of made the transition to Xbox and then computer for seemingly really no reason. It was kind of weird because like the biggest game franchises that like I remember playing uh, when I was younger, were like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Kingdom Hearts is a big one. That's probably one, like my favorite franchise, period. Uh, even though I know it's incredibly convoluted and very, very confusing and not a lot of people like it, but it's definitely one of my favorite franchises ever. And those are all PlayStation exclusives. Well, at least Kingdom Hearts was for a little while. But, and then I just, uh, I, I think it was because my brother had an Xbox 360 and I started playing that. And then I started playing just more things that came from it. And... I just kind of adjusted and then PC came uh, just out of basically sheer convenience. Can you play Geometry Dash sometime? Uh, I've never actually played Geometry Chess. I've never actually played. Wish you a good, wish you a good, blah, 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 blah. wish you luck and a good stream, man. Thank you, Ohiwa. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I've, I've, I've seen a lot of Geometry Dash, but I've never actually played it myself. But uh, I would. Be interest, maybe maybe it's like a one-off one time maybe on one of my um random days where i just sort of play whatever which by the way for every for everybody who's here tomorrow we're gonna be doing hell divers open lobby because the new war bond comes out and i have a lot of metals saved up so i want to try out the new weapons so we will we will definitely be trying that out anyone join your games absolutely if there's an opening but right now uh we got a couple of uh got a couple of people in but i might rotate out a little later just to give some people a chance but can you play scout has five i mean i can i can't promise it's gonna be good whoever's uh whoever's the scout currently i have a request to play scout so if you want to stay scout that's fine but 
my OCD is going to kill me. I do not really have that much good stuff for Scout, though. That's the only thing. Hmm. Instant spread recovery. I do have AI stability engine, which is really, really good. Um, bop, bop, bop. I need more weak point damage. Because I don't have any actual... Might as well just go for full-blown ammo. Gonna be a lot of friendly deaths from the grenade pistol. I... I think I'm primarily going to be using that to, like, plug holes and, and, and like, uh, disable for, like, the fabricators. If it's capable of doing that, I hope it's capable of doing that. I'm going to use this, actually. Bolts are no longer retrievable, lower damage output. Less direct damage, longer reload time. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, do this. Do this. Uh, might as well do this to compensate for that, and then we're good to go. What's the worst deep dive that you have played? I mean, which week's deep dive? Uh, it's hard for me to like, I don't remember them all like one-to-one. -one. Like it's hard for me to remember all of them. Uh, I, I don't remember Like I remember none of them really stick out to me as like, oh, this one was bad. This one was good. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to do here? So it's kind of hard for me to, it's kind of hard for me to say another Elimination mission? We just did those. Okay. Nobody else has anything else. Then I'm gonna, then we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a lithophage mission because I want to do some lithophage missions. But is there is there one that's not level three? Because I know that that means we're just gonna have to deal with three of them. At least this one has volatile guts. So, all right, guys, we're doing a has five lithophage mission. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do randomized for this one. By the way, I like your guide videos. Thank you very much. That's that's very kind of you to say. Can I tell the funniest encounter I had with the Asian lobby? Um, if it's appropriate. If it's not appropriate, um, or if it's derogatory in any way, shape, or form, I would ask that you please do not. Long as it's not offensive in any way, shape, or form. Last week's Elite Deep Dive was for you. Oh, I'm trying to remember. That was in the Magma Core, right? Or no, I might be thinking of the one the week before that. Because I did that. Oh, that was... I'm trying to, I know it was a... Um, I remember there being a on-site refining mission that I think had Haunted Cave, if I'm not mistaken. Help me to approve my play style playing for about eight months. Oh, glad I could be of assistance. Found me a cargo creep. <laughs> a cargo create. Play DRG Survivor. I do. I, I have played DRG Survivor. I was going to play that maybe a little bit today, depending on how this goes. Uh, whoa! Okay. Um, hey, I found one of the, the things. And I found, like, all of the gunk seeds as well, so... Pheromone. I can't see. So that's five. You can see. All right. Let's see here. That was a very, uh, Oh, what is this cave generation? It just keeps going down. I don't know about you guys, but gunk seeds make me unease somehow. I mean, they do look a little awkward. I'm trying to just figure out exactly what, what in the world could the company actually need them for, right? Like, I can't imagine what they actually need these these things for yeah. 
Oh, now I remember why I had enhanced rate of fire. And here they come. I wonder. Ah! It works! Pheromone canisters work on the rock pox. I mean, I didn't really... Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't, but... I just think that that's funny. Oh, and I also have pheromone bolts. I'm just gonna... I think this is... I think pheromone is the, is the meta for rock pox, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, if you could go to a country for free, which country would you go to? Return ticket is also free. Ooh, that's a good question. Japan is definitely on my bucket list of places I want to go to, but I also really want to go to Ireland. I want to go to the UK. Uh, I want to go to a lot of different places. But probably either Japan or Ireland. One of those two. Come on, man. Really? Where's the, where's the lithofomer? I hope y'all are doing good with those, uh, getting those pump jacks set up and whatnot, because I am going through it right now. Oh, that's right. We don't have Molly. I was wondering. Okay. I wonder why she wasn't showing up. Roger. Cleansing pod launched and will arrive shortly. Go to Japan. Ireland is being flooded by migration. The locals don't. Well, I wouldn't be living there. I'm just, I would just be a tourist. Cleansing pod has arrived. Keep your exposure to a minimum. We don't want you growing extra limbs or something. Not only that, but I feel like if you go to like the touristy parts of the areas, they like know that you're a tourist so they you know it's not like it's it's a crazy crazy thing but like i have a lot of irish and british heritage in me so i would like to like see that kind of uh see that side of the world because i've never i've never left the states i've never left the united states in my life so that would be really nice i mean obviously i would also like to go to copenhagen i would like to go to denmark Also recommend Turkey. Turkey would be cool. Turkey would be awesome. Yep. 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 I feel like I haven't been out of that hole in forever. I didn't realize just how big this cave system actually was. I'm out of grenades. I'm out of grenades. Did I just take out loot bugs? Yes. I told you, man. Your bo oh, your boy is 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 broke. Australia would be cool. I actually would. <laughs> I actually would like to go to Australia. The only thing, yeah, the bugs. I, I don't do well with bugs like in reality. So that would be a. Okay, guys. Hold on. We'll make them hit. Oh. I will make them fight each other. I shall make them fight each other. Ab5 looks so easy when you play. It doesn't feel like it. Trust me. It doesn't feel like... Here, fight, fight amongst each other, please. 
I'm literally hitting you with... Okay. I'm trying to get you up, buddy. I really am. Thank you. That makes it so much easier. You should get the more players mods. I do have that. I just... I haven't really used it yet because those types of, like... I don't want to say game-changing mods, but, like, the non-approved mods kind of mess mess up with the save files a little bit. And I'm always just so caught. I'm always just so afraid that, like, something bad's going to happen if I do that. Uh, I'm calling in a resupply pod over here. I hope nobody has any, uh... Hope nobody has any qualms about that. Um... There's so much loot in this pool. Okay, never mind. There actually really wasn't a lot. I think you only get bugs when it starts to warm up after the winter and summer. Apart from that, you don't really get it. Well, isn't isn't it like always like a billion degrees in Australia? Isn't it like just isn't like the whole country like constantly on fire? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, oh, we still have another. We still have one more. Uh, you uh, you having fun here? Hey, little guy. How you doing? All right, guys. Crazy idea. Crazy idea. Okay. I want a mission where we fight like an alpha loot bug who is just tired of our shit. Tired of us slaughtering his family, his friends, his relatives. He's just so done with us destroying his loved ones. And he is like one of the hardest boss enemies we've ever fought in the entire game. Wow, I just decimated that. And now I need to run! Oh, crap. Where did you all come from? Please fight amongst each other. I'm trying to get to you, buddy, but there's uh there seems to be a wall of fire between y me and you. Separate mod integration that has completely bypasses all the approval categories. Oh, I didn't actually know that. Australia is kind of like Hox's outpost on Earth. Yeah, that's true. Have you seen Cryo Vampire Driller Loadout? It's my favorite driller loadout. I've actually made a build that's like kind of in that same sort of vein. Using the Cryo Cannon Vampire, yeah. Whole nine yards. So yes, I am well aware of that build. And it's very effective and also very fun. Um, okay, we got that. We got this. It's called Dreadnoughts on Has 5, yeah. Uh, what was it? What was it? The uh, I think it was uh, the the regular deep dive? It was either the regular deep dive or the elite deep dive this past week that it had on-site refining with Haunted Cave, which is not a very fun combination. Because the map was also kind of small, from what I remember. So basically, if we went anywhere throughout the course of the mission, um, God damn it, there's a pebble in my boot. The, the, the ghost detonator was just around us. Which, by the way, do you guys have a name for the ghost detonator? Do you guys have a name? Do you guys have a name that you call him? I call him Gary the ghost detonator. That's what I call him, at least. I don't know if you guys have a name for him. And yep. Oh, you got it? Okay. I'll go get Uh is there any more? Any more in, in easier to find locations? Wait, why did you not just put it in? Alright. Uh, I think I see one over here.
Yeah, I did that one. It was my job to keep Ghost Dave away. Dave the Ghost. I like that. I like that one. That's a fun one. For some reason, just the name. Wait, hold on. What in the... What in the world is this? What is this spot? What is this spiral? This is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Wow. I, I mean, I know about these like type of lips that you see, but I've never seen this many in one in one go. Huh. I call them mind your own business, please. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He does kind of get all up in your business. We have another swarm. We haven't even started the actual pumping sequence. I got the last gug seat, by the way. Uh, yeah, you guys can start it. We can start it. All right, I'll start it. Boop. Okay, do this. Got this. Let me light us up. Let me get a, let us give us some information. Whoop. Oh, oh I missed that. What the? Did you guys see those enemies just straight up disappear on my screen, or was I going crazy? Did I just hear a bulk? Yes, I did. Yay! Hey, all of you, attack the bulk! All of you, attack the bulk! I'm hitting him with pheromones! All of you, go after your own friend! Or the Warden. Go after one of the two. Oh crap, am I out of... Oh no, I reloaded accidentally for some reason. Oh, I don't have any more. That's what I did. Okay. Um, We're going to go with it. We're just going to work with what we got here. Excuse me. At this point, I would have already lost a cave in, li in life with the Glyphids. And live with the Glyphids. Can you, can y'all? Yeah, start fighting amongst each other, will you? <gasps> Get away from me! Oh. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> Leave me alone. Can he heal the, he, okay, he can't heal the detonator, it looks like. It's incredibly useful. Think I have his attention? Yeah, I definitely have his attention if you guys can get him up. Oh, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, why has it got to be a Brundle? Ooh! I heard the whoosh, and I just thought I need to get out. Slashers! Oh! I have a name for the ghost dead nerder. His name is Little Timmy the Annoying, but also cool. That's definitely a unique name. I don't think I've had that one before. I did miss earlier where we saw over six wardens and three of them came out at the same time. Oh, that's crazy. Sometimes I call them Chunker. That's that. That's an accurate name. Is that the last one? Okay, we should be good. We need these supply pods literally just for health. Is crossbow worth unlocking? It's the last weapon I need for the scout and I'm decisive. Uh, it, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it, base direct damage is really, really good, and I also have an overclock that lets it ricochet, but it does less damage, so most of the time it can one-shot, and also has, like, special bolts that you can do. 
It has a lot of different special bolts. Like this one, which if I hit somebody, uh, there's no enemies nearby, but it, it it's now pheromoned where... Oh, no, there we go. See? They're like hitting each other. But it has like explosive bolts. It has uh, like, I think, electro bolts. It has frost bolts, fire bolts. It's got a whole bunch of different types of ones that you could get. And uh, if you miss, you can actually pick up the bolts, provided it's not as, uh, you know, hectic and chaotic as it is right now. But I would say, yes, it is definitely worth unlocking. All the weapons are worth unlocking in some way. I wouldn't, I, I don't even, I genuinely don't think there's really a super bad weapon in the entire game. Do 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 Watch if I shoot. Oh no, I missed. Oh wait, I can just boop. Obviously it doesn't work if you hit an enemy, but And there's even an upgrade. Wait, do I have it installed? No, I don't. There's a um one of the mods is if you look at a uh if you aim at a missed bolt, uh after a few seconds it will like magnetically pull back to the crossbow. It's actually kinda of funny. Are we almost done here? Oh, we actually are. Okay, great. I'm getting us out of here. Yep. Yeet! Oh, jeez. And there's a shell back. I can't really do anything to that. I have no armor. Livery Storf has six weapons, but there's hundreds of ways to play them. Absolutely. I think that's one of the funnest things about this game. Give me back my bolt. Oh, that's a radioactive Praetorian. Wait, can the... Hold on. Can the ricocheting crossbow bolts ricochet to the same target? Oh, no. I think it just... I think it just ricochets, but it just ricochets to nothing. Burst! Whew. Imagine Ghost Ship makes a live event to tease Rogue Corps. I mean, that's essentially what Season 5 is going to be. Season 5 is a prelude to Rogue Corps. It's going to be based around the same sort of system as Rogue Corps. It's going to be like a lead up to it. Whatever the mission type is, whatever the new enemies are, they're going to be related to Rogue Corps in some way, shape, or form. So. Season 5 is basically a tease for Rogue War. Scarip. Oh, and I got the uh, thing for the bolt shark. Nice. Excellent, excellent. That went well. I mean, it went. It definitely went. That is certain. Uh, let's see. I got the bolt shark. Right. I guess I'll keep running scout for a little bit, but I'm going to change off. I like the stability engine. I think it's fine, but... Drakmonior, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're not a bot because I've just been getting flooded with bots. So I mean that in the kindest way, kindest way possible. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just saying uh, I've been getting a lot of bots lately. So I, if you're not, I thank you so much. Talking about a live mission. Oh, I mean, I'm trying to figure out how they would do that, but yeah, they definitely could. They absolutely could do that if they wanted to. 
So let's see, it's gonna be faster fire rates, and then I don't need any form of fire rate whatsoever. I'll keep I'll put back on the armor breaking. So all right, and run the waster for a little bit with a different different paint job. What do we get? What else we got here? Yeah, I like that. And I got the blue for the bolt shark. I'm going to run the boomstick, though, because I got jumbo shells with it. That's the only thing I got for, for the boomstick is jumbo shells. But you know what? I think that that's incredibly appropriate. All right, well, now both of you have to do this freaking elimination mission, but we are not doing it on hazard level five. I can tell you that much right now. It's not happening. And we're going to swap to the IFGs. Uh, okay, if, we, if we're going up against the Dreadnoughts, I guess the Bolt Shark would actually be pretty good. But if that's the case, I'm going to swap it to... Mm -hmm. I guess Quick Fire Bolts isn't too bad. Got the expanded special quiver. Uh, and yeah, we'll stick with the pheromone bolts. I mean, everything gives me... Yeah, we'll stick with the broadkin bolts. I guess that's okay. Okay, I think... I think I'm ready. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Can you make a DRG beginner's tips video? I've actually already done that. I have done that, I think, two times. I've done a regular beginner's guide, and I've done, I believe, a 12 tips video. But if those ones are not enough, I can probably think of 12 more tips uh, or a certain amount of other tips. But yes, I have actually already done that. Funny if the pheromone bolts work with the twin dreadnoughts. Ooh, you might be on. You might be onto something here. I've never actually tried it before, so... Three is a charm. I mean, I'm sure... I mean, I guess I could do that at some point in time. I can put it on the list. Slap the dice, yes. slap a -dee slap Ah, oh, wall. I don't think it's going to work on the Dreadnoughts, but... I, whoa, low gravity. I mean, I can at the very least try. Because if that's the case, it'd be awesome. Come on, you... already a grabber where all right that's fine we can just go up number one don't play hollow bow number two slap the dice hollow bow is not bad i don't it's not my it's not my least favorite biome i like this a lot more than i like fungus bogs i'll tell you that much that was itchy stop it make it look like i'm trying to pick my nose and i'm not my nose is just itchy Slappity slap. Boop, boop. At least in this biome, you can deal with the hazards and threats relatively easily. First deep dive elite was in hollow bow. Ooh, okay, that is that is a little bit rough. But still not terrible, you know? Here's a uh here's a question. What is your least favorite uh hazard to have on a mission? Like, what is your least favorite warning hazard to have? Like, Mactera, Mactera Plague, Low Oxygen? What do you think is the worst? For me, it's probably Haunted Cave. It, it's not the worst. It's not terrible. Like, it, it, it's just, it's, it's a problem you literally can't deal with in any way, shape, or form. Shield, oh, Shield Disruption. Yeah, I mean, that one's... That one's also not too terrible, at least in my opinion. 
Like, it, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. Especially if you're not, like, properly set up for it. But, like, if you're in... If you're on the right type of mission where there's just a craft and a nitra, you can just get a bunch of, uh... You can just get a bunch of nitra, and you should be okay, at least for the most part. Rival birds is not good because Nemesis spawn chance is higher. The Nemesis is annoying, yes, but I don't think he's quite as bad as everyone gives credit, as, as everybody makes him out to be. He can be tough, especially if you're, like, newer and you don't have as much stuff to deal with. Oh, yeah, the, the Dreadnought is right on the other side of this. All right, so we will fight him in this room. So we can, if we're ready, we can pop it. Things all DRG players hate. Ooh, you know what? That's actually, that's, you might be onto something there. You might be onto something there. I might have to put that on the list. Is it the twins? It is. All right, I'm going to test my theory. Or not my theory, but eight, but the theory. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it doesn't work. Oh, sorry. I may have just accidentally hit you with a pheromone bolt. Does that mean you have to shoot us now? Ah, plasma burst missiles. An insanely good, uh, things all DRG players hate. Elves. I would love to see them, like, admit, like somehow add elves into this universe. Where did they go? No. Oh, there you go. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that uh, the pheromone bolts do not work on the on oh on the dreadnought twins to make them hit each other. I I, I believe I can make an assumption in saying that that is most likely true. But what does work on them is the IFGs. We don't want any Eldars in this good universe, brother. Oh, uh, man. That's funny. Ow! Oh, I need, I need, I need red sugar, red sugar. Oh, yes. Walk right into that, please. All right, hit the other one. Nope. They're probably going to heal right now. Yep. I hit him with a flare. Ooh, good shite. Good shite. Yeah, now you're weak. Oh, come on. We were doing so good. Scout's worst fear fall damage. I mean, that's why... I I'm glad it's a zero G right now. Sign one less thing I need to worry about. Actually, no. The scout's worst fear. Let's be honest here. The scout's worst fear is the driller. Let's 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 not beat around the bush. Are they gonna heal again? Oh no. Okay. Where's the other one? Oh, here he is. Where you go? Is it just me, or did he not do, like, the angry yell that he normally does? Did I miss that? You have to lower both health, but yeah, I, I know about that. It's just... Oh. Normally, the battle, I never get to the point where, like, there's usually not enough communication for people to know, like, only damage them a certain amount. Normally, it's just you shoot whatever one is most convenient. Oh! I didn't even hear the thing drop. Everyone's worst fear is the driller. I mean, not my worst fear, but definitely a fear. Yes. What? Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Carl's trapped in the well, yes. Me win A. Alright, what do we got? That one's there, that's not too bad. What about the other one? Oh. Is that just right up there? Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. D-Man. Mr. Explosives Man, can you, uh... Can you uh, bring this thing down a little bit? Pretty, pretty please, with with sugar and a cherry on top. Lovely, so much better. I knew, oh, I knew we had to have the drillers around for some reason. Although I just couldn't figure out what. Oh, why? Why did you go to that one? Ain't no way. We haven't even finished this one yet, bro. Surely I'll be safe here. Ooh. Drillers eat stones for breakfast, so yeah. There's so many, so many things, so many. Hey, I got a play card. First time. Oh, I totally forgot all about the Fester Fleas. I haven't even been looking for them. I just heard one. I'm gonna go for the littler ones. Nope. Uh... Two more meteors up here. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I really don't have time for you. Here. Fight amongst fight amongst yourselves, okay? Fight amongst yourselves. Let me let me do my thing here, okay? Holy Oh my goodness. Come on. I love pheromone effects. They're so much fun. Okay, that's a lot of Mactera near me. Low gravity is awesome on the scout. Okay, well. Question, do you love... M I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna read the rest of that sentence. And, um... I feel like this is a trap. That's a trap, and I know it. Random Season 4 urges, bury a play card inside. A neutralized contain... Why would you do that? I feel like that would just make it even worse. Music is great. I prefer Diggy Diggy Hole. That is truth. That, nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, I saw... Oh, there it is. Alright, can we continue on with the mission? For goodness sake. I agree. He's uh he's doing he's doing other things. Fathomless or what's called? I'm not quite sure exactly what you mean by that. But I meant oh I'm gonna go down here, probably. I have no health. Never mind. I'm still okay. Oh. Oh, oh, I was about to say, what what, what awaits us in this room? There's my answer. Sorry, friend. What? That's not a one-hit kill? Oh, it's because I have the Broadkin bolts. 
Would you rather have jet boots or low gravity in a mission? I, I actually, uh, to say what Noise is saying, I have had both of them. I've had jet boots, low gravity, and the um, tunnel rat beer that reduces fall damage. It is insanely, like, it just, you, you fly. You practically just fly. Uh, I mean, I, I guess. Please, God, just don't let it, don't let it be a hive guard. Yep. <laughs> Why is it not summoning his goons? Bro, summon your guys, all right? Thank you. Now, I bet this will work on them. Yeah. Fight amongst yourselves. Does it work on them? Oh, yeah, it does. Don't let it be a hive guard. Last sec. Last second, still hive guard. Yeah, I know. He's weakened. My time guard's really not so bad. I just don't like it. Like, I don't like the fact that it, you know, you don't really have much control over the pace, over the flow of the fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Apologies. How did that go through him? It just got really quiet for a second and I thought we were about to get another meteor. I was about to... Oh, sorry. There goes the... <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Beautiful. Uh, we can't leave yet, though, because we need to get three more... Uh... Fester fleas before we get out of here. Unless you guys think we can find them on the way back. Sorry. I had six bullets left. Oh, what the? Three brave minds to help me on a carpool achievement. No, no, oh my goodness. That's something I don't think I've actually gotten yet. I mean, we can also, we can just extract if you guys want and just hope that we find the Fester Fleas on the way back. Because I feel like we, we probably will find them. Yeah, I guess that's a fair, that's... I'm sure we'll find those three faster fleas on the way back. Oh, is the drop pod really going to drop like right here? Wow, the one time I want the drop pod to like take forever to get to us. Is the time... Alright, well, I'm just gonna run around and look for them real quick.
I'm gonna zip around real quick. How the heck did... How did that driller... Oh, he, he cut his own pathway. We got five minutes. We can find it. I see you. Got one. Need one more. I hear it. If I die, remember me for what I was, not what I am. Oh, face your night. Oh goodness, how long have you guys been there? You didn't find the last one, huh? I swore I heard it. Hold on. I know what I must do. I... I heard it. It's somewhere in this room. There he is! Oh, come on, you! Beautiful! Alright, I'm coming! Let's get out of here. Can you briefly explain what mineral... What mineral does what? Uh, what do you mean, what mineral does what? In There's a lot of different minerals in the game. Most of them are uh, cosmetic-based. Oh, I have, a, uh, I have a Twitch follow. One second. I will, I will respond to this in a moment. Uh, oh, am I going the right way? Uh, yes, actually, I am. Oh, oh my goodness, the spider web. Nitra's ammo, gold is money, more kite. Yeah, um, yeah, Nitra and gold are pretty much the only two that you really need to worry about. Nitra is what allows you to call in resupplies to get more ammo gold the more gold you get the more money you get at the completion of a mission and pretty much everything else is just crafting materials that you need in order to upgrade your gear uh activate forge overclocks and all various things like that phaseonite is kind of the only weird one that one can show up in any biome randomly and that's that way you can unlock stuff in the cosmetic shop yeah phaseonite cool funny suit yeah pretty much and then, yeah, and then everything else is um, basically just for crafting. Like, Jotties, Bismore, Barley Bulb, all the plant stuff is for uh, beers at the Abyss Bar. Um, and then there's a couple of... There's a couple of random resources that have a rare chance to spawn, like gold chunks, which are just big hunks of gold that are just worth a lot. Uh, air cubes, which I think they also just give you money. You must leave now. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Potato Chips. Thanks for stopping by. Rock and stone. I don't... And don't, and don't forget the ritual rocks. The ritual rocks. Which ones are the ritual rocks again? Why am I, why am I blanking? Why am I blanking on what the ritual rocks are? The ritual rocks. Uh, the gold ones? I already mentioned those ones. Gold chunks? Yeah, I already mentioned the gold chunks. Cry, no way. Okay. Oh, the pink one. Yeah, there's those are basically the same thing as gold chunks, except they're pink. Uh, so then what do I want to run? I want to go back to NG? I guess I could go back to NG. Or no, I could go gunny for a little bit. 
I don't have any overclocks for the minigun yet, which is crazy. I thought I would have at this point, but but I I got Big Bertha. That's all I really need. We do homebrew powder. For us, golden bitter gem or ritual rocks. That is true. I think bitter gem was called that because someone tried to eat it. Strong possibility. Uh, let's see here. Radioactive exclusion. You know what we have? Either an industrial sabotage or a salvage. We're going to do this. Oh, but this one also has lit the... Wait, why is this one have lithophage? It's not even in the lithophage zone. I kind of want to do this one just because it has magmite and it's mineral mania, which I need both of those things. Because I have no magnite whatsoever and I need that very badly and I could use some mineral mania. Yeah, magnite's like one of the big things that I need out of everything that I have. I leave you guys alone. What, what what what's what's so bad about this stuff? Why what 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 why why did you guys? Oh, 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 I, I think I'm oh. I knew it was gonna happen. I just thought it'd be funny. Oh man. Your Honor, we did not put uranium in the drink. Oh, okay. I guess I guess we're I guess we're double drilling it. Okay, this works. What is the best of the craftable beers? What do you mean by cr like uh the like if you're talking about the buff based ones, it really just depends on what the type of mission is. Um the ones that just give you extra health is really good. The ones that help fall damage is really good. The ones that help you... Uh, the one that makes it that way terrain takes less hits to break is really, really good. In terms of the ones that just do funny stuff, it's really just whatever one you like the most. Randomizer is probably the best one just because it changes the game up a lot. And Hidden Dwarf is also fun as well. Oh, sorry about that. Hidden Dwarf's just a nice, fun little game to play. The heck? What about camera just shift in the loading screen? That's never happened before. I don't know where my cell phone went. Oh, well. No one really needs to talk to me right now, I don't think. Y'all are taking your time to load in. There we go. Oh, well, he just mentioned, are we elves or dwarves? So I guess that does make sense that they're golden loot bug. Kill the turret, you shoot the caretaker, that's fair enough. Yeah, because you guys do have the fire, so that's good. I'm going to need all the magnite that you guys can mine. If we see a Huli Hoarder, you guys need, like, we're going to absolutely decimate it. Pause the gold. I will. As soon as Molly gets back to me. I don't know where she went, but... There she is.
Oh, there's three contagion spikes? Oh, why? It's gonna be the longest mission of eternity. I mean, shit. Bonk. It's gonna be the longest mission ever. Hold up. Oh, and there's fossils? Oh boy, okay. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun time. Risk it for the fossil? I mean, yeah, obviously. Well, today, through my morbid curiosity, I learned the former government of Mississippi. I have read many weird political figures. Okay, well, thank you for the information, Holy. I appreciate that. At least there's... Oh, wow. Sorry. I don't know what that was. Um, at least both of them are going in the same general direction, which is very nice. You don't have to go very far to probably get both of the battery or the battery cells. I just hope the, the contagion spikes are on the way. This is, this is a mixture of rival presence and bots. Which, oh boy, what a combination. And there's a corrupted NATO site breeder. I'm trying to take out the NATO site breeder. Okay, it's dead. Can you mine minerals by the explosives overclock, like with the explosive ammo? Uh, yes, you you can. It's just not incredibly uh, efficient. Like, I, you, it's... There's a Crossus detonator. Oh my goodness. One thing at a time. What is it with this mission? Bruh. Somebody get him. It's possible. Yo, what is this mission? Sniper. Yes, I'm well aware that there's sniper turrets. Holy crap, dude. I literally can't. I can't get to you. There's too many things shooting at me from many different sides. Oh my god. And then the, the, the electro dudes just spawned. There's rock pox all over the place. We're I'm just having it. We're just having a tough we're gonna fail this. This is uh this is gonna be a fail, I think. This is just insane right now. I got more of them spawned. I'm trying to get to you, pal, but... I literally can't get to you. There's just too many things happening right now. Yeet. I can't I live dude there's there's just so many things happening right now that I just I can't I can't get a breather there's rock fox there's robots there's a there's a de there's a crassus detonator staring at us from the distance which is making me really uncomfortable there's still the contagion spike that we have to clear out there's just a lot of things going on right now and destroy terrain and technically minor minerals but it's very ammo inefficient yeah it is incredibly ammo inefficient I wouldn't recommend using that to His weapons are definitely much better off being used to, you know, break the enemies. The rock 
Okay. I'm getting rid of this freaking contagion spike. For all I know, Harold's going to show up on this mission now. You guys are doing great over there. All right, one down. Well done. This contagion spike has been neutralized. A celebratory decontamination process awaits you back on the space grid. Oh, what the? Okay, I forgot that that makes a whole bunch of enemies spawn. Why would you drop? Hacking pod is launched and on its way. This is not going well. Cross is still isn't dead. I thought you guys would have gotten it by now. Thank you for that. I don't have any more shields. I genuinely feel like the enemies are just not stopping in any way, shape, or form. Like, there's just always something going on. Is there another uh, lithophage spike, like, in this room? Like, I feel like that's the only reason why we're still getting this many rock pox enemies showing up. Oh my god, I think there actually... There is. There is a second one. What's happening? Oh, did you guys finally get rid of it? Eh. Did we get the... Oh, sweet. Oh, we're gonna... Yep, we are... Definitely going to be rich. All right, we need to divide and conquer. That way we can... We're going to be here forever. I'm going to... I can use some backup to get this other... This second lithophage spike taken care of. Oh, man. This is... And then there's also like a shit ton of... Uh, oh. There's also a shit ton of uh, fossils around here that we... Still need to handle. I got special powder and I reload. Beautiful. All right, now take out the take out the small prize. Guys, terrifying, terrifying thought, right? A rock pox warden. Imagine that. Imagine a rock pox warden. <sighs> okay. Um. Rock pox detonator when? Uh, I don't think the world's ready for that. Okay. Um. Where's the hacking pod? Hacking pod, okay. So... Can... Alright. Mr. Scout, if you could... Try your best to get to the fossils that are in the area. I will start, I guess, hacking away uh, at this gold. Because this is going to be a real, uh, this is going to be a real ordeal here. We want to get everything that we possibly can done. Well, I hope you guys are ready for the, uh, the next 10 minutes of the stream, which is just going to be me hacking away at this gold. So, um, anybody got any topics of conversation that they want to, uh, 
maybe discuss the inner, the inner machinations of politics, the, 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 the mechanics behind international trade, um, secrets of the universe, uh, anything like that. Cause, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be kind of occupied for a little while here. The meaning of life, uh, which is 42. Dave, you guys made sure work of that contagion spike. Yeah, I wonder. No, yeah, that's still no. Okay. What's the most annoying enemy in my opinion? <laughs> Most annoying enemy, in my opinion. Probably the ghost detonator, just because you literally can't do anything about him. He's just, he's just there, and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, he's just gonna be sitting there, making your life a living hell, and you can't actually do anything about it. Maybe a close second would be, I don't know. Septic spreader, maybe? That would probably be probably another another close contender. Uh Alright, we got it all. What is, what is going on over here? Oh, that's a chasm. I'm gonna do this. Personal opinion: cave leeches. So the thing is, these cave leeches aren't common enough for me to come across them to call them as like super duper annoying. What? Oh. Anyone needs ammo? Well. Is it worth it? Uh, it's always worth it. See, you know what you're doing. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this basically for health. I do need some ammo. I'm gonna get this get this rocking and rolling, and so we can continue on. It, I will say it was very convenient that all of the oh. Okay, that swarm appeared right before I even started this, so I can't even be blamed for that. Oh. Yep. Lead burster. Come on. Elite regenerating. Uh, I'm guessing that's nemesis is what you're saying, or just maybe bugs and, and or just enemies in general. Uh, yeah, elite bugs and regenerating bugs at the same time can be very difficult. I don't know if I've ever actually had that conversation. That not conversation, that combination, though, I will say. Subject spreader shooting over ledges is annoying. I can't see them yet. Yeah, that's. I mean, I will say. They're a lot better now that they made it so that way you can actually get rid of their projectiles before they hit you. So if they do that and you just see where they're coming from, you can't just shoot them down, which is nice. The thing you'll find out about me quickly is that I talk things that are annoying me that are either unre unreactable or near impossible to hear coming. That's fair. Ba 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 and there we go. All right, one down. Anybody see what the second one was at all? I feel like it's, I feel like that also has to be kind of in this room, right? I see the, I see the wire. Oh yeah, I feel like it's like right over here somewhere, right? Yep.
steps through this tunnel. Oh, somebody already cleared out most of this. I'm not complaining about. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This leads us back to the... Oh, we just, we just went backwards. We just went backwards. We just went backwards. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I figured it out. I figured it was, uh... What? It's up there? Okay. If it is up here, that'd be great. Cave leeches, to put it shortly, are elite ninjas. If you're not running heightened senses, the chance of me getting caught by them are 102% with a 2% margin of error. <laughs> gotta be in this room right like oh wait it is i can see it on the map i just don't know where it is so wait a minute now that's the one we did oh oh so it's over here oh you know what i'm gonna do this Okay, so we, we found the place. We just went in the wrong direction. All right there, buddy? Oh. First turret was 40 feet away. Wait, how did he get there? Did he just cut off? Did he just cut a line? He did. I think he did, at least. I don't know why, every time I scrape my nose gets incredibly itchy. And I really don't know how to explain it. It just does, and I don't know why. How loud or quiet enemies are also explains why I find Astospheres most annoying than menaces, because while menaces are much harder to kill, yeah, you you do always know when a menace shows up by that sound cue that they have. Oh, there's another a fusco. Oh god, the sniper turret! Okay. Here, you already got the hacking pod called in, which is very nice. Beautiful. I agree. I agree. Did somebody, uh, wait, did you? Is that what that tunnel is? Oh, this is what that tunnel is. You cut a little low, my friend. Do we mine all the crest gold? I believe so, yes. We, uh, we... More like we blew it up. Okay, can we not can we not go crazy with these? Not it's going to make it significantly more complicated if we do it this way. Cuz I it, it's the the pathway is just doubling back on itself. 
I literally can't put it in properly. I, I literally can't set this up properly. It's actively making this even more harder and complicated. We are made. We are making. We made this pathway a thousand times more complicated than it needed to be. This did not need to be this complicated. Hazard is this? This is hazard level four. Not quite high, not quite as high octane, but also not quite as. Okay, I died. Comes to other enemies. How annoying are they? Is much more situational depending on loadout. Oh. I need my shield. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, now I have to wait for it to recharge. I don't know if there's much more situation depending on my loadout cave generation. Yeah, that's true. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, good point. I'm gonna be honest, we actually haven't seen that many like rival enemies like this whole entire time. It's been primarily bugs and lithophage. It's all right over there. Really need to learn how to aim with the M1000. I mean, it is one of the more technical weapons Scout has access to. All right, let's let's leave and let's go back to the freaking. My man. My man knows what's up. It should lead us back, I think, right? Eh, more or less. Pretty close. I haven't found them too annoying, but I haven't unlocked Hazard 5 yet, so I wouldn't know. Uh, Hazard 5 basically just makes everything hurt so much more. And... Significantly more of a pain in the butt to deal with. It's really hazard four. Hazard level five just makes us that way. Everything just hits like an absolute freight train. And the amount of friendly fa friendly fire damage you take is significantly increased. So things that normally would like mildly irritate your allies would in will now like completely down them in one shot. I got some bots on me. I had to mention not finding any bots, didn't I? Because now they're just going to be showing up all over the place. Oh, two hackable bots? Hold up. Let me flex my muscles here. One. Come on. Yeah. 
I'm gonna pull a zip over the caretaker for me. Yeah, I got you. One sec. One second. The way people don't do has five, it's just annoying. Um, I, or I mean, you don't need to do hazard level five. It's not like, it, it's like. Oh, I. Well, that's that one's not gonna work. Let me try. Well, will that work? Or is that is that gonna work? Yeah, so I've, I've. There we go. That should be much better. Uh, I'm going to start calling in some resupply pods because we're going to need them. So sort of new, but I haven't seen a single Hazard 5 lobby in public lobby. So if you're relatively new, um, you need to actually do an assignment to unlock Hazard Level 5. And I don't think you have access to that until you hit a certain level or a certain rank. Um, you, need, you need to complete an assignment in order to unlock Hazard Level 5. And the assignment itself, you need to do entirely on hazard level four in order to unlock it. So you'll know when you're ready to pull to get to it. But also don't don't really don't really. Yeah, don't don't beat yourself up about it. It's it's. It's really not that important to get to hazard level five. You can play whatever difficulty you're comfortable with. And yeah, there are mods that could take you even above hazard level five. I am. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold on. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. They heard me ask the question. Or they heard they heard them ask the question and they were like, let's make sure they're not ready. Oh my goodness. Where did all this just come from? These dudes just appeared. These dudes just straight spawned. I already need to get some ammo because my, my gun's already almost out. All right, I'm going to start it this time. This time for real. I'm lowering the battery now. Batteries count as explosive barrels from turtle light. Do they really? Huh. That's interesting. Beautiful. Because if people play with hazard levels above five, doesn't mean they'll judge you for playing on low. No, yeah, no, no, at least they sh no one should judge you for playing on lower hazard levels. You can play on whatever hazard level you want so long as it's the most comfortable for you, as so long as you have the most fun. That's that at the end of the day, that's the most important part. Speaking of bots, are both the mines still up and running? One of them is. I think the other one got broken. Don't hit me. They got the sniper turrets. I'm trying my damnedest.
I ain't worried about playing on Heiser Hazard for now. I'm just working on promoting all my classes at least once. The engineer so far is wondering where to unlock Hazard Level 5. I mean, eventually, yes. I would say it's worth it just to kind of give you that little challenge. Um, but yeah, absolutely. That's a fantastic way to uh, prioritize your time. And to, oh, oh, uh, I'm just going to do this. I only roll of thumb so I don't get arrogant about the skills to play on lower hazard levels. At least some humility is good for you. Yeah, that's true. If if I'm just trying to relax or if I'm getting footage for a video and I don't want it to be like super duper, like I don't want to stress out about it, I'll probably get most of it on hazard level three, maybe four if I'm trying to do some, uh, if I'm trying to showcase something like specific. Um... If it's like something more advanced, yeah, I'll try to go on the higher hazard levels. But if it's just a case of, hey, this is how this works. This is how this handles. I'll You'll probably just mainly be seeing like hazard level three-ish content. I need to heal. I'm going to call another resupply. Ooh, I have no shields either. Give 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 There's already a sentry turret. Okay. Blow it up. That's another. Oh, it sent out more sniper turrets. Are we are we not gonna not gonna blow it up? Oh no. Scout, can you go up and grab? Yeah, 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 my man. Oh, of course. Of course. This is going poorly. God, the timing. Yeah, the timing on that was not good at all. Ah, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. I'm going to see a bunch of axe just sticking out of this guy. I got you. Top two deaths. Fall damage and bad timing. I mean, you could one you could say they just work in tandem with each other. I feel like those are two that work very well together. Alright, we did it. Let's so back in season two, I wanted to make videos when I forced myself to use the worst loadouts on each class, but now double barrel no longer sucks. So yeah, double barrel is pretty fun. Double barrel is a fun overclock. We did it. I wanted to do the C4 skip. C4 skip. I never actually... I never actually... What, do you just blow up like three C4 at the same time and it just sends you to the next phase immediately or something? Interesting. Once the turret dropped me, then a shredder. Yay! Let's get out of here. Oh, man. We have the spent nuclear fuel onwards. Hey! Okay. What 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 would we have done if that just wiped us? Retro sabotage is wild. I had two nearly back-to-back -back assignments in that mission. In both instances, I was running driller jet boot swarm to made made C4 cheese so easy. I mean, yeah, in, industrial sabotage is still probably my favorite type of mission. I do have high hopes for the new mission type coming in season five. Um, I have really, really high hopes for it because it, it, I hope it's something very, very different and also very interesting. Very much so looking forward to that. Oh, yep. Yep. Mark.
You know, that just that actually made me think of something. If if the side of the drop pod is thin enough to where Never mind. Can we not like can we not do this, please? Lol. Oh man. Well, I think if once you're in the drop pod, even if you're down, I think you get back up. Yeah, that's a lot of Magnite. Oh, I needed Magnite. I got it. I got it. Boom. Boom. Down. All right, let's see if I can make any of my overclocks now. I think I have two that I can make. Well, let's claim some credits. Beautiful. I need Enter Pearl and Bismore. Let's see, can I purchase any of those? Do I have like an influx of any other type of? Let's see. Don't oh, don't don't need that much. Don't need that much. I think I need like 130 of this. And okay, so that's a lot. So if I sell like, what if I sell like 200? Okay, that's still pretty good. Uh, we'll get the turret arc. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I think this is absolutely no one talks in voice chat and lobbies typically and barely even in text either. Yeah, I mean. I feel like that's just becoming more and more common in games in general these days. Like people just aren't talking to each other, um, which I mean, I guess is fine to an extent, but yeah, it would be nice to like have those types of, but, but at the same time, I think that just comes from the fact that oh, I just realized there was a daily deal. I probably just wasted a lot of money. Um, it just probably just comes from the fact that people have had too many just bad experiences with um, people just being negative for one reason or another, which is sad. Because I don't think that that's something that anybody should try go out of their way to do. Yeah. Let's see here, can I do this? Really need those I gotta say, I never had this issue when I first started playing of just having to worry about all my all my resources and managing them so much. All right, but I think I'm gonna probably call it a day there, guys. I've been going for about two hours now. We'll end off with some beers. Sure, might as well. Um. I want to thank the guys who were here playing through with me today. Uh, they were night. They were great. Good job. Everybody did pretty well. We did some good missions. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with some Helldivers open lobbies because the new Warbond comes out. And I want to play that and see what's going on as well. Um, and we're going to just continue on. Got uh, something something nice planned for this, for this video this week. And yeah, uh, thank you guys all for watching. I hope to see you sometime soon. I'll catch you all next time, and thank you for watching.